If you ask me, do I believe there's life in a universe that is so vast that it's hard for me to comprehend how big it is? My personal answer is yes. Most scientists believe that the real universe is infinitely large, but we humans can't see that much of the universe. Our view is limited to a region called the observable universe, which is about 93 billion light years across. Even with our best technology, scientists say we can't see beyond this observable universe. Beyond this boundary, there's more stuff like galaxies, stars, and planets that just keeps going on and on. It was estimated that the observable universe contains between 100 to 200 billion galaxies, and scientists at the University of Nottingham estimate that there are at least 36 intelligent alien civilizations in our Milky Way galaxy. Then think about how many potentially intelligent civilizations there could be in the observable universe. But unfortunately, despite so much progress in technology and decades of observation, we have still not found a single clue about alien life. So why have we not yet made contact with intelligent aliens? This problem has been named the Fermi Paradox, after the physicist Enrico Fermi. Given the likelihood of extraterrestrial life, and the fact that some stars and planets are older than ours, you would think that intelligent aliens would have left a trace of themselves in the cosmos. But Fermi wondered, where is everybody? However, there are some possible solutions to the Fermi paradox, which explains why we have not yet been able to connect with any technological species. Recently, scientists have presented a surprising new hypothesis about intelligent alien life. In this hypothesis, they find a huge new problem for alien civilizations that could be one of the most exciting and possible solutions to the Fermi paradox. In this new paper, they talk about the idea that intelligent aliens who breathe gases other than oxygen could survive on a planet with not enough oxygen, but would unable to progress technologically. They named it Oxygen Bottleneck. This oxygen bottleneck hypothesis highlights the benefits of breathing isn't the only thing oxygen has done for humans. There are many ways in which the sufficient presence of oxygen has helped human civilization develop on Earth. Well, let's dive deeper into this exciting new hypothesis and find out how the oxygen bottleneck could prevent intelligent, tool-using and possibly communicative species from becoming technologically advanced ones capable of making contact with us. On Earth, fire certainly played a crucial role in the establishment of human civilization and the onset of technology. It all began with our ancestors using fire to stay warm, allowing them to expand their settlements to different environments. Fire has also been utilized by humans to control our environment and help us in hunting. However, by far the most important role for fire in the rise of human civilization is its use as an energy source. As time passed, we didn't just stop at keeping warm, we got creative. Picture this, fire evolved from a simple tool to keep us cozy to a superhero, aiding us in making cool stuff. People started using fire for metalwork, creating tools and even smelting metals. This marked a turning point in our history as fire became not just a source of warmth, but a powerful force for crafting and innovation. Now, let's fast forward to a significant chapter in our timeline, the Industrial Revolution. This was a period of massive change where machines and factories transformed how we lived and worked. Guess what played a starring role? Fire. It wasn't just any fire, though. It was fueled by something called charcoal. This marked a giant leap forward in our ability to create things faster and more efficiently. Without fire, there would be no industrial revolution. And this is how we humans became a technologically advanced civilization, capable of sending information about our presence into interstellar space. 
So this explains how understanding fire and its uses helped humans to develop their civilization. But to light a fire, you definitely need oxygen. Not just a little bit, but a whole bunch of it. And this raises a thought-provoking question. If an intelligent species wanted to contact us, wouldn't those aliens also need a good supply of oxygen to progress technologically? The presence of high degrees of oxygen in the atmosphere is like a bottleneck you have to get through in order to have a technological species. You can have everything else work out, but if you don't have oxygen in the atmosphere, you're not going to have a technological species. According to this new paper, below 18.5% oxygen, the possibility of combustion is limited. On a planet that does not have enough oxygen, plant material will not burn. Any higher than 35%, it will combust so well that forests would not be able to grow and sustain themselves. Imagine a young and intelligent species on an alien world with an atmosphere that's just 1% oxygen. Those aliens may have intelligence, but due to lack of oxygen in their atmosphere, they would never get the chance to see a tree burn after being hit by lightning and get the idea of using fire for their own purposes. They would never have the chance to learn how fire could be used to cook food, clear land, or, most importantly, melt metals. The poverty of oxygen in their air would likely box these creatures in forever, limiting their development. Most scientists believe that this could be one of the most likely reasons why we have not yet been able to contact any intelligent alien species. Those species might have been blessed with intelligence, but they might not have been lucky enough to have enough oxygen in their atmosphere, which might have prevented them from becoming a technological civilization. The research team suggests other possible ways primitive species could produce heat, such as focusing the rays of their stars or geothermic energy, but none are as easy or freely available as combustion. On Earth, it is around 21% oxygen in the atmosphere seems to be the sweet spot where fires can burn and vegetation can grow. We humans are lucky to have enough oxygen on Earth to develop our civilization, so now it is in our hands to find other intelligent civilizations. Scientists said that searching for extraterrestrial intelligent life could give us insight into how long our own civilization can survive. The more civilizations we find close to home, the better the chances for humans' long-term survival. If we find that intelligent life is common, then this would reveal that our civilization could exist for much longer than a few hundred years. Alternatively, if we find that there are no active civilizations in our galaxy, it is a bad sign for our own long-term existence. On the bright side, this new paper hopes that the oxygen bottleneck may assist the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, as well as letting us know that in the search for technological civilizations, it may be better to look for oxygen-rich planets. Should we receive potential techno-signatures, oxygen levels on planets in the region could help us know whether technology is likely present on them. If it's too low, we can guess that it is probably unlikely a species would have developed the technology needed for contact. 